Sweetheart, welcome home from school. How was your day today? Uh, good. Was it fun? Yeah. Excellent. What's this thing? Oh, it's a notice from school. I almost notice. forgot. Notice from school. Let me see here. Pediculosis is head lice, Mom. Head lice? In my child's classroom. <gasps> Relax, Mom. It's only a little bug that makes your head itch. Oh, heavens. Honey, people in our family don't itch. We are squeaky clean. Mom, dirt has nothing to do with it. In fact, head lice like clean heads the most. Mom, I think you better check me. You're supposed to check everyone, including Dad. It says here, screening for lice. Use natural light if possible. The school nurse said to check with a magnifying glass. Head lice are hard to find. Head lice are wingless and are the size of a sesame seed. They have six legs, which all end in tiny little claws. They range from grayish white to light brown in color. I don't see anything like that, sweetheart. Let's see here. Diagnosis of head lice is more often made by finding lice eggs called nits. Hmm. Nits! Viable nits are usually found within a half inch of the scalp. It says nits are tiny yellowish to gray or tan oval eggs attached at an angle to the hair shaft. They don't come off easily. If you can blow or flick it off, it's not a nit. Huh, let me just see here. What? Janice has head lice? Oh, like we've got time for this. Me? No, no way. I don't, I don't think men get head lice. No, I, I don't think they do. <laughs> Listen, honey, I should be home by 7 o'clock. Yeah, 8.30. Yeah, I'll be home by 9. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> 11 o'clock. Yeah, I'll be home by 9. Why are you on my head? Yo, Ned Pickens here. I'm squatting, taking over. The hair on your pal Tiffany's head got a mite crowded, so we moved on over to these hair parts. How long are you staying? Well, now, that depends on you. Once we've settled in, we don't clear out too easily. We live about 30 days, and we lay around six eggs a day. Cement them on these here hair shafts so they're safe from monsoons, soap waves, and hot air storms. Each egg takes about eight to ten days to hatch. Then another eight to ten days for the young'uns to mature enough to lay eggs of their own. In a few weeks, head lies city. No kidding. And you human type been picking us out of your hair since the cave days. Why, Cleopatra had her own solid gold knit comb. Gotta go, friend. Right. Well, then how did my daughter get head lice at your school? Well, Mrs. Jones, head lice don't hawk, jump, or fly. As a matter of fact, they barely crawl, except on a hair shaft. Right. So your daughter's head must have been right next to someone who was already infested with head lice. Or she might have used an infested person's earphones, brush or hat. But my daughter would never use someone else's brush or hat. No. She's far too bright for that. Mm -hmm. Hey, Lily, can I borrow your brush and then wear your hat? Sure. Thanks. Please, just tell me what to do, and I will do it. Yeah. First of all, relax. Lice are not life-threatening. They can be eliminated if you're persistent. The most commonly prescribed treatment for head lice are pediculicidal shampoos and cream rinses. You should also be aware that the National Pediculosis Association reports that head lice appear to have recently developed resistance to pediculicidal products. So you must be prepared to take additional steps to get rid of head lice. No quick fixes? There's nothing that I can do just immediately to take care of this? Relax, dear. It's okay. Take a deep breath. <sighs> yeah. Okay, we're back. So what do I do? We'll have to do a little more work. But we're going to obliterate those head lice with my five-step battle plan. And we're taking no prisoners. Are you with me? And remember, dear, relax, and don't forget to smile.
We're ready. Step one. Use a particular side. Now remember, you're working with insecticides. So do read the label carefully and discuss the products with your doctor or pharmacist. Make sure you choose one that's appropriate for your child. The child has cuts or abrasions on the head, or if you're uncomfortable using insecticides, you might want to skip this step. And never use a particular side on infants, or if you're pregnant or nursing. Keep your eyes tightly closed the whole time. Not you, the child. Cover the child's face with a washcloth and shampoo over the sink, not in a tub or shower. You only want the particular side where you need it, on the child's head. Okay, so our numbers are a little down, but we're not out yet. Step two. We're going to use a lovely olive oil treatment to smother every louse that survived the particular side. Entomologists at the Harvard School of Public Health have confirmed that oil smothers and kills active head lice. Also, people find the olive oil makes knit removal easier and remoisturizes the scalp after the particular side. Part the hair and apply the oil directly onto the scalp. That feels good. Hmm. Well, sweetheart, when you feel good, mother feels good. Massage into the entire scalp making sure to saturate the hair. Hey, kid, no fear. We got to breathe oxygen just like you, only through holes in our sides. You cover them holes and it's lights out for us, but we can hold our breath for hours. Within a few minutes, the olive oil cuts off their oxygen and the lice stop moving. But if you wash the oil off too soon, they'll come right back to life. It takes a while for them to actually die. Leave the oil on until the next morning or for at least eight hours. Use a shower cap tied in place with a bandana. Great look, Ma! When properly used, the olive oil treatment is non-toxic to humans. It can be used as a precautionary measure on the whole family whether or not you actually see signs of lice. And it makes your hair look fabulous. <laughs> yes. Meanwhile, it's time to clean the environment. Vacuum any area that might have come in contact with someone's hair. You can also vacuum stuffed animals and dolls. Use a lint remover on hard-to-reach areas like car upholstery. Soak combs and brushes in hot water for 20 minutes. Wash and dry all bed linen, used towels and recently worn clothing in a hot dryer for at least 20 minutes. Lice hate dry heat. Don't forget coats, scarves and hats. Anything that can't be washed can be dry cleaned or put away for two weeks. But remember, lice can't live more than a couple of days off a human scalp. Save your time and energy for your child's hair. Now, step four, comb out the nits. First, comb the oily hair with a regular clean comb to remove tangles. Use a good metal knit comb. Take a thin section of hair, no wider than the comb. Starting at the scalp, slide the knit comb over that section. Then, pin that section out of the way and continue around the hair. Wipe the knit comb frequently with a tissue. Knit combing takes time. It can be a good time to really talk to your child. Well, we just delivered them. Now, when you're finished combing out the knits, it's time to wash out the oil. Use a good clarifying shampoo for oily hair. Before wetting the hair, pour plenty of shampoo directly onto the head. At the copa. It'll probably take two lathers to wash out all the oil. Step 5. Check for nits. Now after the hair has been dried, you'll need to check carefully in bright light for any nits you've missed. Starting at the base of the scalp, separate a thin section with your fingers. That's great, just like that. Now check both sides of the hair. When you find a nit, Grasp the knit 
with your fingernail and slide it all the way off the hair shaft. Deposit it carefully on a tissue. Continue all the way around the head. But chances are, you'll miss a few of our tiniest nets. You'll think you've won. Then in a couple weeks, we're back. You think you've been reinfested and start looking around for someone to blame. <laughs> We've actually been there all along. So as a precaution, repeat the oil treatment and knit combing every four days for the next three weeks and check for knits frequently. Your goal is to kill every newborn louse before it's old enough to lay more eggs. I'm off to that lonesome hair shaft in the sky. Oh. They're gonna wipe us out if this keeps up. Now for the hard part. The hard part? What do you think we've been doing here? You have to tell anyone who may have been exposed. Oh no, this is our little secret. <laughs> Remember, your child is still playing with the same children and they could reinfest your child. <sighs> <laughs> Dorothy. Hi, yeah, it's me. Oh, this is a little embarrassing. Um, I am not quite sure how to tell you this. Oh, I've got jitters in my stomach right now. Oh, it's terrible. But I recently, very recently, found head lice on Janice. Well, aren't you wonderful for letting us know? Some people are so silly about these things. No problem, I'll get right on it. George, do we have any olive oil in the house? You are, you're just a super friend. <sighs> Thanks for hearing me. Best of luck, let's stay in touch over this whole thing. Okay, love to you. Yeah, bye bye. <laughs> Remember, you can win the battle against headlines. Keep your brushes and combs to yourself. You can share candy, but you can't share hats. Wear your hair up. Hey, you guys, tell your mom to check your head every week. Anybody can get, get head lice. If you get head lice, don't panic. They can't hurt you. Follow the battle plan. Remember, if your friend gets head lice, don't make fun of them, because you might be next.